Hi, I'm Solon from Gameslide, and I'm with Kenny, the uh, lead director of Girl Genius. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about Girl Genius? Yeah, so uh, it's an action-adventure game uh, based on a graphic novel series called Girl Genius uh, from the authors Phil and Kaya Folio, which are also here today at PAX West. Uh, it's an action-adventure game where you play as the main character from the graphic novel series called Agatha. Uh, and uh, you might say it's sort of like a PS2 retro vibe sort of game so yeah. with a little bit of Ratchet and Clank vibes uh, and the old uh, 3D uh, Zelda titles. Yeah. this come together you three working together on a, a game like this because the scale of this is much larger than yeah. you know what I would expect from a small indie studio working together with uh, you know novelists and stuff right yes so uh, what happened was that we met uh, the authors Phil and Kaya Folio uh, at San Diego Comic-Con of course that and uh, you might have noticed that uh, the authors here they do look like uh, steampunk aficionados right right and so they were at San Diego Diego Comic yeah. Con in steampunk attire. Yeah. And you just walked up to them and was like, I'm going to make a game out of this. <laughs> Pretty much exactly like that because uh, Rain Games, the company uh, we are, yes. uh, we have made uh, different uh, steampunk themed titles from before. Oh, okay. Like, for example, the 2D platformer Tesla Grad, which is quite well known in the indie uh, gaming scene. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we thought it was a great fit okay. with, uh, you know, our studio. Uh, uh, with the steampunk aesthetics. Oh, and, that's uh, fascinating. And the graphic novel series of Girl Genius. So you all worked to make this, this 2D game, Tesla Grad, and now after that came out and had some success, you came and were like, all right, I'm gonna start hunting for my next like comic adventure. And so did you know about Girl Genius for a while? And we're oh, like, yeah. this is the plan. This was always the plan. Well, see, the thing is that uh, Girl Genius has been around for quite a while. Uh, yes. We're talking 20 years. Wow of a massive production of graphic novel series. Yeah. Uh, so uh, many of us in the studio have been reading the series for many years. Uh, and that's uh, why uh, uh, we kind of got interested in it, right? Yes, yeah. Uh, and uh, Girl Genius is kind of known in the, what I call the nerdosphere. Sure, uh, yep. Uh, and we thought uh, this game, or rather this IP, uh, Girl Genius, really deserves a proper video game, you know? And I feel like you've got a very proper video game, because it's very Ratchet and Clank looking. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, to come out of such a, you know, a smaller space than, you know, Ratchet and Clank is a huge video game. Yeah. Um, and you've got a style here that works towards the webcomic and towards this very fun, knowable style really easily. Yeah. I, I'm just amazed at how Thank that's you. kind of all come together. I have to say that uh, I'm very, very happy with my team. Yeah. Uh, I think that I've uh, gotten very lucky with uh, the talent yeah. uh, for uh, this uh, game production. How big's your team? Uh, my team is uh, seven to eight people. It's differed a little wow. bit uh, during development. Wow, that so is a such a small number. I know. That is a single digit number. Yes. <laughs> that's but, amazing. Uh, then again, everybody on the team are very, very good. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, uh, and they put a lot of effort into it uh, so and it, it is a product made out of love and passion it uh, seems like for it. sure yeah. everybody that is working on this uh, game uh, really care about uh, the girl genius uh, IP uh, <laughs> yeah. as well right and, uh, <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the game so uh, I they care like about the IP, but like the, the characters, the, yeah. the storyline, the things that are happening here. Yeah. Um, yeah, what parts are you really excited about? Because I see that there's a lot of different functionality. Yeah. Um, there's lots of like abilities and stuff that you can... So then we have a very special, like a unique game system in the game. We call it the build system. What's the build system? Yeah. The build system is uh, Agatha <laughs> can 
command the castle, uh, or castle Atrodine, yep. to release a scrap trap onto the floor. And that scrap trap can be rebuilt into other objects. And okay. those objects you use to traverse uh, spatial spaces. So, yep. uh, for example, you can build a, a, a spring plank so you can bounce. Uh, and then you can build another object to yeah. get farther. And you can just kind of keep. And this uh, system goes a little bit deep. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. so, so there are some, uh, <laughs> we have made some optional, a little bit more advanced puzzle uh, gameplay rooms where uh, that leads to a certain pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's worth it. You're you're thinking it's worth it too. This it is awesome. Was so much fun when I discovered that I was like, this just keeps going. Yeah. Oh. So From, that's, a, that's a build system. Yeah. And then we have uh, there's two playable characters. So you have Agatha, the main protagonist. Yep. And then you have the little Dingbot. Yes, I see uh, Dingbot behind us. Which is us. a cute little uh, robot. Yeah. Uh, or a clank. And they've got a couple of other friends too. Yeah. And so, I called them clanks before I ever. <laughs> it was. It was when I first saw Ratchet and Clank, I thought, oh no, they're going to think I'm ripping them off. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to call them robots. <laughs> I love Ratchet and Clank. So, uh, so the little character, Dingbot, yep. uh, also gets tools. So uh, later on in the game, you get uh, like a little drill hat yeah. uh, that he can equip and then he can drill on the ground. Perfect, uh, yep. And a uh, uh, propeller so he can fly and glide. Got flying, digging, yeah. all sorts of... He can get into all sorts of little places. Yes. That makes sense. And then uh, boss fights. Uh, like uh, the action adventure simplified melee combat. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, it's not like uh, we, we have designed the game to not be super hard unless you play on hard. Uh, right. So, so you can play on hard difficulty and then it feels a little bit more like Dark Souls actually. Yep. Uh, but on normal difficulty it's very accessible for everyone. Okay cool. Uh, then uh, like the final sort of featurey feature uh, you can read 24 full graphic novel series in the game. For real? Yes. Yeah, we've oh my. the whole comic. Uh, wow! Four so books. The whole comic so far. The whole comic so far is just yes. in the game. In the game. Uh, with a special reader feature uh, where you can read, uh, you know, you have a, you read them uh, kind of vertically. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very uh, cool feature. It's so, That's something that I haven't really seen in uh, other games ever. Like a yeah. full featured, like, uh, there's literally thousands of pages of content there. Yep. Uh, yep. So uh, and so you're going through it on a you know controller or mouse and keyboard. Yeah. That's fun. So and then the player. What a weird space to be in to have to like yeah. make a comic accessible through your video game. Uh, we call it the comicception. Yeah. So it's like a yeah. comic within a comic within the game within a. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, so it's a full uh, action adventure game. I think that the, the average play time for people is like uh, seven hours if you play a story. Uh, and then uh, if you're 100% uh, in the game, it's like 12 plus hours. We have that a sounds lot of, completely uh, reasonable. That's a yeah. good, that's a very healthy amount yeah. of stuff to do in there. Yeah. I have oh. played the uh, other one, so my, my game so much that the counter has clicked over. Uh, and now it says I've played for about two or three hours, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I have no. played for over, at least over a day, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but That's I'm so funny. I'm slow. Well, you got to take your time through it and move through all the spaces. you got to make sure they're doing the, the story right. I wanted to ask for y'all um, what it's like having your game adapted, or your, sorry, having your comic adapted into a game, awesome. and what kinds of, like, challenges there were in trying to figure out the right so, way to uh, make uh, everything look good. Well, we just let them do whatever, and they did a really great job, so <laughs> it was fine. Uh, we were, frankly, really busy while they were doing a lot of the early stuff, so I'm really lucky that it, it turns out that okay. their vision meshed with ours so well. Yeah. Uh, the, okay. um, so, you know, there are always changes that you have to make. Yep. Yep. And yep. I, I just, I like the way they handled it, and it really worked out well. Uh, there's a whole joke in the, um, in the comic where they, they repair this coffee machine in town and it's this big mad science coffee machine. Yep, yep. And uh, in the game they move the coffee 
coffee machine into Castle Heterodyne, and it's the health potions. And you can upgrade them, and they're yeah. glorious, and it's so funny. And, oh, that's awesome. Um, and then you go into a room, and you know, there's like a little spigot right popping out of the floor where you can replenish your coffee because every house absolutely needs a little like on demand coffee spigot at the, you know, on the inside of every door. I, I love that because I'm hearing from you how much you just you love games and you speak games. And Not only do I love games, I love this kind of game. Exactly. I love this kind. I love them just run around, explore, solve puzzles, find clever ways. There's not a lot of writers that would be like, oh yes, just take my work and make it into a game. I trust this implicitly. <laughs> usually there's wrong? right. Usually there's a little more, you know, fight it. But like you all seem so inspired and on the same page. It's kind of cool to see. I'm very much a what does this button do kind of thing. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, and I think that shows through everything that I've seen in Girl Genius that like... Oh, we reset! That's all right, it doesn't matter. That it, it, it all like comes together perfectly because you all are so on the same page for this. It was a miracle. I mean, no, all games were a miracle. Yeah. This was no different. Well, I'm grateful uh, for them. Thank you for taking some time out. Enjoy the rest of the convention. Thank you so much for I would love a bookmark. Aww. Yeah, we're here for the other. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this has been Girl Genius Adventures in Castle Hederdine. And uh, thank you all for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Coming out 5th of September on Steam. <laughs> Thank you! That's the most ah! perfect. By the way, this is the Nintendo Switch version you're playing here. And it's, it's gonna exclusive be on... because uh, it's not released yet. Right. Uh, the Nintendo Switch version is coming winter 2023. Okay, so, so on Steam uh, first. A exclusive look at the Nintendo Switch version on uh, PAX West. Amazing.